All right, here we go. This is a 1v1 ranked match on simple between Punktronica in Steampunk Osprey and Tangibility in the Standard Chopper. Um, Tangibility with his normal, extremely atypical, but very typical for him, loadouts of Jackals, um, <laughs> Sams, Levelers, and Rebels. Um, you know, along with the, along with the, uh, the occasional uh, bombs, I guess. And he is a chopper this time. <laughs> and Punktronica, um, Levelers as well, actually. Um, and Punktronica, with all the disturbing talk, um, and uh, this cactus pretty much per penetrating this Dillo, and Punktronica is going straight for Tangibility's forward. Uh, and, I mean, he is actually going to be able to claim it. I don't know if he'll be able to keep it, but that is very, very problematic for Tangi. Uh, he's going to have to take a lot of extra time to keep this down, uh, and you know, he not, he's not going to be able to take it right away. He does have to save it. Uh, he does have to save that moneymaker because it probably would have gotten killed. And Punktronica is a little bit ahead now. He does. Oh, and he's getting that salvage off uh, for that destroyed those destroyed jackals. The tangibility actually dropping long longhorns everywhere, killing all the neutrals on the side, and actually already has the power station. So now he's going to be able to start the push for mid, and it's actually happening before Punktronica is doing it. Punktronica has artillery set up, yes, but Punk but you know Tangi already has a bunch of stuff set up. Uh, not set up, but brought over, uh, you know, a great mix of jackals, longhorns, and um, one patcher, so uh, this does go red, it will go back down pretty quick because of the jackals and the T-99 surrounding, uh, Punktronica just just killing neutrals, he's probably just doing it for the, um, obviously for EXP, but also for the salvage, which he is getting off, gets a pretty good amount there, and Tangibility doing the exact same thing with the neutrals, but will not get that extra salvage credit, um, and, ta and Punktronica is actually getting it from Tangibility, he's using Tangi's kill for extra credits, and now uh, Tangi is really, really getting a good wall, or not but this wall, but getting good line of units over here at this high ground in the mid. And uh, Punktronica's, uh, uh, Punktronica's Arties, or Archies are not actually firing at Tanji's uh, units. It was just firing at these um, at these neutrals. And uh, Punk thwarting Tanji very, very briefly there. But uh, Tanji bringing more and more units. It's just more. Oh, and there are, you know, just great combination again of Longhorns and Jackals. Uh, and Tanji is going to chase down Punk. No, chase down, but try to get Punktronica taken out. But Punktronica does get away before Tanji Tanji is able to get him there. Um, and now, wow. Uh, um, Pondronica is kind of a little, I guess, a little bit ahead in the economy just because he's able to get all of that extra salvage. Um, I'm surprised he's not grabbing this one here, um, but the tangibility just bring more and more units up, up to me. This is literally what you need to do, just ferrying, leapfrogging, etc, etc, kind of text, kind of textbook, uh, and, uh, he does, oh, and that one tank smoking black. Uh, that makes me feel very uneasy. Seeing tanks smoke black just, just I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've had nightmares about that stuff. Uh, but Tanji just going directly up against Punk uh, with it, with this uh, arm, with his armadillo in the heel. But Punktronica, oh, Tanji so, so low on life, and Tanji is gonna try to walk away. Uh, oh, and he does try to lift off. Punktronica does get that kill. Or did Punktronica drop there? I, I could have sworn Punktronica was in the air just now. Um, and uh, now he, he does respawn. Not that huge of a, of, a, of a, you know, not that huge of a blow that getting killed just now. Uh, but you know, that just is a little. There's a one up from for, for Punk on on Tanji there. Uh, but Punk getting now. Look at this. A lot of Dillos. Uh, a couple of artillery as well. Um, and uh, Tanji with a lot of. Longhorn and a lot, a uh, couple of jackals as well. T uh, Tanji with zero artillery in his loadout at all. He doesn't even have any uber units. He's not really planning for the, the long game. Or I mean, not necessarily planning, but you know, in, in terms of in terms of trying to get the late game advantage with these uh, with the uber units, he's not really doing that. Um, he doesn't have a loadout set up for that. Uh, and Petronica setting some stuff on this ledge over here. Uh, it, it's actually doing a pretty good job. Except now Tanji has three. Uh, Three Longhorn over there, and um, Punktronica is forced to bring that uh, that that Archie out of the way. And now look at all these Longhorn Tanji with level four. He's a level four chopper with level one carry. Can get two Longhorn at the same time. Um, but uh, you know, Punk with that Osprey, uh, and, and he see he has Dillos in queue or not in queue in his loadout. 
So he can't really take advantage of the high carry capacity uh, the way that Tanji can with his chopper. Um, and Punktronica getting quite a lot of salvage credits out here. Um, even though a lot of those, I think a lot of those were his units, uh, he was just getting a lot of credits back for that. Just getting so much value out of the units that he's lost. Um, and uh, Tanji killing that Dillo. Uh, all these incoming creeps are gonna get killed. So now Punktronica is starting to try to take this outpost. Is dropping creeps. One ball did go up. Obviously went back down with all those Dillos and or not Dillos, all those Longhorn and uh, Jackals is, is there. And Tanji going straight for the front, front door, trying to put in whatever damage he can. And Punktronica is just gonna stand there and uh, just attack him. And now Tanji circling. Electronica dropping the Jackals to, uh, you know, do a little bit extra damage to Tanji, but Jackals really not that great against Max uh, unless they you do have the mass and that, that those numbers in the Jackals to really, really take care of the Max. It does force Tanji out of the area, though, and Pentronica now hovering over him, uh, stalking, almost gets the kill on him, but Tanji only has, like, one and a half. Oh, does get that. Does go down to Punktronica after lifting off in front of his outpost. Uh, Punktronica with a really great stock there. And now, um, I don't know why Punktronica is not really pushing the pace. It's really, really atypical for him because usually Punktronica is just extremely aggressive, uh, you know, in every single way, um, especially when he plays Bomber, but also when he plays Osprey. Um, and <laughs> and I guess he was waiting for the Berthas. Berthas being the kind of the ultimate unit at this point, uh, if at, like at this point, at this stage of the game, with this current build. Uh, it's just Bertha's all day that you see, and Tanji with a lot of Rebels in queue, a lot of Longhorns in queue. It, these Longhorns came all the way from the fort, if you saw that. Um, the, and and there are Longhorns on both the central lane and the top lane now. Um, and uh, now Punktronica is kind of, he just has these Dillos to, uh, to defend against. And now Tanji's going to be able to take this mid, but he's actually not going for it. He is just going for the, the forward, this power station. There's still a lot of Longhorn incoming. There are a lot of Longhorn incoming. Punktronica, um, Punktronica, you don't have that many credits left. Oh, but he does have a lot of Dillos in queue. He is going to be able to get a pretty good defense off here. I don't know if this is going to be able to break uh, break this push. I think it probably will be able to. No, there's only three Dillos and one Jackal there. And Punktronica is very, very split. He has to split his attention between that forward outpost and this uh, and his sword, trying to heal what he can, but it's really not going to be enough. He really needs to bring all of his stuff to that front door. Uh, that This front door is just getting smashed with all these long and jackals, and uh, jackals, rebels, and tangibility is going to be able to take this. Look how fast Punktronica's life is going down. Oh my god, he, he took a fort push uh, all the way, you know, all the way from his fort. Punktronica has so low life left, he's not going to really be able to get this block off in time, and Punktronica has been killed. Tangibility gets this victory over Punktronica. Oh man, that was just crazy. And Punktronica leaving without saying anything. Um, understandably. This is RUI, and that's game. See you next time.